Good day, guys. Ben here.、Um, so today we're going to just go back to、um, talk about、uh, this one because last time when I、uh, saw this,、um, I don't think I can uh, uh,、um, because my、uh, Dynamo skills not good enough.、Um, but then I had a, a try actually with、uh, with the Help of Chat GPT.、Um, I created this panel. So this is a curtain panel. So look like this. So you can see it's still not perfect, but almost.、Um, I mean, see these、uh, connections not perfect, but、uh, actually horizontal.、Uh, so vertical at、uh, vertical uh, um, edge. They match, you know, perfectly. So I guess it's just、um, uh, if 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 I, if I spend a little bit more time, maybe just maybe I um, I、um, I can make it perfect, right? So so yeah. So the main、um, oh, actually, let me just go back. So what I did is、um, I just you know use this image. I think I can just copy image. And、I、go in here and just paste this, and then ask、um, uh, Chat GPT to create a a black, I think black and white、um, image,、um, black and white image with this pattern, right? And then and make and make it、um, seamless.、Um, What else? Yep, I think similar. So you can always add more、um, uh, to it. I mean, yeah, and then you can just play with all these、uh, prompts so to make it, you know, work.、Um, so this, yeah, apparently take a, a little bit. Time so yeah, let's just go back and、uh, we'll come back later. So, so yeah, basically it will create. So I'll show you what. I, I, so this is the image I created from from that from a、uh, GPT a、uh, Chat GPT. So you can see this is it's a very clean, nice clean pattern image, black and white, right? So this is the result I wanted to achieve, and uh, so the um. So the, the you can see the vert the vertical edge. So here match this one, but、uh, unfortunately it's not the horizontal edge. This、uh, that does not match here. So I guess we yeah. So probably need just need to to tell ChatGPT we need to you know seamless on all edge you know, instead of only vertical. But I think it's it's achievable, right? So once I、uh, got this image and then I'll just go. To some, you know, like websites. So, for example, this one. So, uh, uh, I image to a DXF. DXF is similar to DWG file, so which can be used in Revit. So, and actually, I'm going to just edit this one. I'll show you. So, edit family. So, it's a curtain. It's a it's a curtain panel family. So, you just you know create a new family and choose the curtain wall panel.、Um, I think this is the easiest way. When、uh, so okay, so let's go to uh, uh, elevation. So you can see I just、uh, place it here. Of course, it's not parametric, so you just need to decide the size. And then I'll just go. It, it, it's a、um, extrusion. So if I edit extrusion, so you can see these are the、um, oh actually so yeah let me show. So use that web website. So use this. And we can, so you can see here, create from this image.、Uh, we can get a DXF file, which is very similar to a DWG. I just actually、uh, use AutoCAD to convert to DWG, but this this step can be uh, uh, ignored. So you can directly link the DXF into the、uh, Revit into Revit. Okay, so once you have a DXF or a DWG file, so you can go to、uh, Revit and create a new.、Uh, so、uh, in this case,、um, a curtain wall panel, and then in the elevation, I just create a extrusion, and then I use 
you know, I direct it go to insert and import CAD. Okay, so you start an extrusion, so you don't need to draw, draw anything. So we just go directly, go to uh, insert, import CAD. Okay, so and then choose and select that DXF file. And then this will give you these sketch lines. So of course, you uh, the size might not be uh, correct. So you just need to select all of them and scale them. So for example, you can just select all of them and use the... Um, scale so if you go under uh, scale which one scale here so uh, R E right scale and then to scale to the size you want it uh, you uh, you need right so currently uh, what what's my oh, four meter by four meter okay and just uh, be careful because sometimes so when um, when you try to, you know, convert uh, from image to DXF or DWG file, so you'll get a lot of line like poly. Uh, they are poly, poly, poly lines. So just be careful because if if it's um, if you have a very you know big image, so I mean like a instead of having this, you have more uh, bigger like uh, more you know, these all these um, patterns so it will make this sketch uh, very heavy okay so just be careful so you can see it's very slow on my computer probably also because my computer is very slow so yeah it take a while to finish this execution so actually I think it, the um, chat GPT should Finish. Yeah. So see. Okay. So this time it's yeah slightly different. So it looks like ah. Uh, yeah. So let me just have a look at the other one. Uh, yeah, slightly different. But you can always uh, explain to uh, to it. So probably want to reduce the number of these and then make it even just make it a, a, a square shape. Uh, probably easier and then. Uh, for the seamless, looks like ah oh, seamless. It, it's matching here, so you can see the pattern here, roughly match pattern here, right here and here. So horizontal edge, horizontal edge. I can't, it's a little hard to see, but anyway, ah uh, yeah. So so you can see the vertical edge doesn't match. Okay, so here doesn't does not match here. So yeah, we still need. A little bit, so it's like probably off opposite. Yeah, actually, it's not quite matching. But anyway, so um, actually, let's try to do it. Try to try another one. I think there's there's a like a limit of number of of uh, image you can you can create. Uh, if if are you uh, using a like a free account just like mine so I'll try again so maybe um uh, uh, reduce the yeah I don't know reduce reduce the size size of the image uh, make it make it square uh, um, How do I make it seamless? So both vertical are uh, uh, left, <laughs> left, left edge pattern match matches uh, the right edge. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> the top, the top, um, top edge pattern. Matches the bottom edge. Um, yeah, maybe that's uh, that should be enough. Or make the make the lines thinner, slightly thinner. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess let's just do another one and see how it looks. So and. Uh, let me just go back to Revit. So, okay, so once you 
uh, created this you know pattern right so for example this is four meter by four meter and you're happy with the pattern so and then you can just you know save it just uh, finish it save it and load it into into in, into a project so now you just need to create a curtain wall so this is a curtain wall okay so if you go to create a curtain wall you can usually if you if you start if you start with a um, architecture template there's a there's always be a, like a, a shop front and uh, the other one is like just a uh, glazing so you can just use a glazing start from the, that glazing uh, curtain wall so you just apply that curtain panel to it okay and just make sure you use fixed distance fixed distance so whatever um the size uh your panel is just make it you know fixed to try not try not to, to use a maximum spacing because uh, when you try to adjust the size of the panel it's, yeah very likely uh, it will break okay very likely it will break so yeah just make sure so use that uh, uh, size and uh, yeah don't need any emollients okay so so and then finish and then you can create this so let me just create another one and when you draw when you draw like try and also because it's four meter um, by four meter so you try not to uh, or oh, oh what's going on here uh, maybe maybe oh, yeah so it's very slow maybe do this I'll just copy this one to here so try to use the number that can be divided by four meters so like a eight, eight meter so two panel right so if, if I try to do 10 meter let's see what happens ah yeah it's okay it will replace another one and then uh, it uh, will overlap with this panel so yeah it's all good so maybe just eight meter okay so in the height uh, currently 12 meter if I change to eight meter so it will just yeah repeat uh, this panel right so okay so now let's go back again uh, still still working on it that's fine so yeah so I can see vertical uh, edge match p perfectly this one and this one but horizontal edge no, not so much okay so yeah pretty much pretty much this is it for today but yeah just to give you some idea about um this so we can because we uh yeah if we i mean like it, yeah it can be very hard to you know try to create a, a pattern from scratch using just using uh use like dynamo or those uh yeah uh yeah uh what's that called uh all the all the python or something <laughs> yeah but uh, at least uh, at least we can just ask uh, chat as uh, ai to uh, help help us right so and uh, the result is quite good i think if we can just make this even you know match and then i think this can be a very interesting interesting uh, pattern so we can actually use use on uh, some project right um, okay so it's almost there I think almost there so uh, let's just wait uh, a little bit longer and just let it finish and um, yeah have a try yourself uh, probably yeah it doesn't need to be this if, even you can actually create something from nothing in chat just need to explain to it so what uh, you want to achieve but yeah and uh, yeah you probably can find some other website or tool to to do this as well but I yeah I just show you what I did okay so um, so this is yeah this is the this is a DWG file so actually I just create I, I just resaved from that DXF file so this is what uh, what I get from that um, that website you know convert that image yeah it's a bit slow 
um, you don't need this, right? So it's not perfect. <laughs> so try to do it yourself and make it perfect. Okay, so yeah. And also if you can, yeah, can you just pause it here so I can see how it goes? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, let's not wait. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I should take, I think it should be there, almost there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I'll pause. I pause. Yeah, I don't know how long it will take. I'll just pause it a little bit. Okay, um, I'm back. So actually, it, it took me a few days. Um, the result, the, the the actually the result is not very good. So I couldn't make uh, make it work. So you can see all these. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, seamless so it's not matching so you can see from here and here and also from left to the right uh, they are not matching perfectly so which means that we can't really create a perfect pattern but i just <laughs> actually ask uh, uh, chat uh, how can we achieve that and uh, it says oh maybe we can just you know uh, try rhino and uh, grasshopper and also we can do it in uh, Illustrator as well. So yeah, I think that that's um, another you know probably another approach. Uh, we can in Rhino and Grasshopper we can probably create something, but um, I I don't think it's 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 per it's it's uh, it's great because uh, when if we create some pattern, some model from uh, Rhino or Grasshopper and import it into Revit, it's not a you know a native uh, model uh, in Revit and can be hard to work with, uh, can be slow, maybe I'm not sure. But another way, I think we can probably just you know use Illustrator and then somehow we can export to. Uh, somehow create a D, maybe DWG file or a vector file, and then we can just import into Re uh, Revit and then and create a family. So I think that that's all for uh, for this one. So it's not perfect, um, but uh, as you can see, it's it's probably it's possible to to achieve. A better outcome. At least you can see from this one, this uh, particular, you know, one I did previous, did uh, like a few days ago. The left, the left of uh, the left edge, so the left side of this panel matches the right, uh, the pa um, the pattern on the right hand side, right? But so that's not per. So maybe actually, what we can do is maybe you can just you know. Go to the family and just manually, yeah, I think it's possible, manually um, adjust these. <laughs> okay, so that's that's all. Uh, I will up upload this family so you can have a look. And um, yeah, if you have, if you find a better better uh, way of doing this, please let me know. Okay, so that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.